From Asheville, I'm Christian Bryant. Before you release a new product, you usually test it, usually by creating an environment just like the one where it will eventually operate. But what about space? How do scientists test a new satellite docking system, for example? Instead of rocketing prototype after prototype into space, the U.S. Naval Research Laboratory came up with this. Essentially, this flat slab on the back of that truck is one massive air hockey table. It's one solid 37.5 ton slab of almost perfectly frictionless granite. Once scientists are ready to test, prototypes are placed over the gravity offset table. It's equipped with powerful jets that keep objects suspended just like the puck on an air hockey table. The big difference here is the NRL's table can accurately reproduce the physics of space. Space robotics scientist Dr. Gregory P. Scott explains. Based on the inertia of the floating system, a realistic spacecraft response can be measured when testing thrusters, attitude control algorithms, and responses to contact with other objects. Aside from being able to more accurately test for the effects of space, the 20 by 15 foot slab saves researchers money. Because, as the NRL reports, launch costs are rising. And they didn't have to go far to find the materials. The out of this world granite slice was found here at the quarry in Clovis, California. So really, who gets to play an epic game of air hockey on this thing first? From Asheville, I'm Christian Bryant.